All right, what's up, everybody? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Thursday, November 12th, 2020. Oh, damn. All right, what are we doing here? We got Splinterlands, dude. We got a mystery reward, but Chiron just posted in the Discord about this Vim thing. So you got to click this post to hive. I had to refresh or something. What the freak? So every six hours post to hive. I mean, does it take time? I mean, it kind of sucks. I reacted with fire and thumbs up and all that stuff in the discord. But looking at it now, I'm kind of like, yo, not fire. It's pain in the ass. So what do you got to do, man? Oh, yeah. Check this out, too. Quan just sold a crazy ass bug dude an axie for 1.1 dude it's like 500 bucks 548 bucks for a seven breeder pachito with the scoop pachito with the scoop here and he ripped it i mean you know hey good for him it's, it's a disgusting bug i mean he's got chomp lagging thorny snail I would say probably he's he's lacking damage though so cute bunny is the one that's the one get cute bunny over chomp and now you're talking and you probably don't even need lagging you could probably have like dual blade or or something else even on the horn but still you know not hating it's a good ass axie dude we are gonna we're not playing axie though. we're gonna play some splinterlands but i want to get this vim post to post post to hive it don't want to. I want to post my shit, dude. Technical difficulties. Please stand by. Post a hive. So you have to go in to go live. And then post a hive. Right? That's how this shit works? What the freak? Not working, no. Alright, well. Where's, where's the Vim? Yeah. Everyone posting the hive is no longer done automatically. This means that you will have to open your go live dashboard and hit the post to hive button in order to have a post link to your stream. Clicking this button. Clicking the post button again during the stream will not create a new post. I will edit it will edit the one link to that specific stream session. Okay. Um 24 7 channel operator stay tuned for the scheduled posting feature yeah i mean who posts who streams 24 7 anyway isn't that weird you ain't streaming then you ain't live do live am i am i on let me see i got another browser over here let me try to see if this is working oh but i'm not logged in or anything it says offline so maybe that's it i did start streaming on my OBS, it says start streaming. But on Vim, it says I'm not live. All right, whatever, dude. Who gives a shit? Get into some Splinterlands. And uh, again, thank you to Crypto Eater. Crypto Eater hooked me up with the 10 plots for 75 bucks. And on top of that, he gave me the 75 raffle tickets. Like, what a guy. What a pal definitely hooked it up with that that's what's up that's what i'm talking about bruh so i got 10 plots here i provided liquidity in the deck winterlands ethereum uniswap pool so i'll probably get another two three plots more during each re land release that's pretty fucking cool we got 50,000 dark energy crystals we got 450,000 dark energy crystals half a million over in our uni swap pool so we're trying to get paid i mean isn't that what life's about dude you got a reward card oh it's a gold foil fucking chicken or whatever oh fuck ancient lich well i mean hey it is a legendary but damn i thought we were about to get the chicken dude the drunken the mighty drinking the drinking the drinking chicken what the hell's his name all right hey that's what's up though 
Ancient Lich, what is he? Is he a reward card? Yeah, he's a reward card. All right, so you know, not not the worst, not the not the best, but not the worst. Hey, you're greedy. You're selfish. Uh, what is this? Who's the dude I was looking for in here? This dude, the Mighty Dricken. The Mighty Dricken. This is the promo dude that I was looking for. That's who we're all looking for. And there's only one of them out there. Who? How many is there going to be? Is there ever going to be any more than one? That shit's crazy. I want that man. Damn, thought we were getting a dude. Thought we were cracking him. I don't know if it matters. Like, uh, where's the other dude? So we had this guy. How many? There's Oh, there's only three. So there's low, dude. And there, but there's seven of this guy. So maybe there's only going to be one. I don't know. Maybe we'll get number two tomorrow. Uh, but hey, we still got a legendary dude. Can't complain. Two days and 16 hours to go before this Splinterland season ends. And uh, we're on a water quest, so let's bang it out. Where are we at here on the leaderboard? 218. Yo! I'm low as shit. 38 battles, 30 wins. Well, damn, dude. It's time to pump it up. Get this quest done. With all these waters. And then what do we got coming out? We got Blanco's coming out on the 17th. That's soon. Five days. We're about to be rocking in Blanco's. All these games, dude. All these games out here. That's why I got to make a living through this, dude. It's all these games. So little time. I got to find a way to make money doing this shit. Somehow. I don't know. I mean, like, you know, you think like, why? Well, what if everything just pumps, right? What if everything just goes crazy? Card values. All these games, everything just goes through the roof. Then how are people going to onboard? You know, what about the new dudes, the new players? How are they ever going to get involved in the game if the fucking prices are ridiculous? I don't know. So I guess my Vim stream just ain't working. What the freak, Vim? Vim? What the hell? Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, that's, that's just kind of the thing I'm thinking about. But I don't know, you know? You never know. We don't know, man. This shit could fucking work out. And wouldn't that be great? And everything is going to work out for me anyway. I already know it. I don't give a shit. I'm doing it. No matter what. No matter what. We're doing it no matter what, man. We're going to make it happen and that's final spinal oh there we go my shit's popping up all right so i put my i also put vim chat widget or whatever it is in my obs too like i'm learning this shit so there it is i seen that pop up it said that i went offline oh boo hoo so i guess i'm not online I don't know what it is, you know, technology. Can I figure it out? Whatever. I'll figure it out. I'll figure the post out and everything. Oh, the poison! The poison! Damn, he missed. He missed on his snipe. Ugh. That's embarrassing, dude. Freaking tree knocks out our tank. How? Does that happen? All right, can we tank it though with the genie? Can the genie tank? I don't think so. Are we just slow? What's happening? Getting creamed over here by the magic king. Look, I'm telling you, anything's possible. Team possible. We got team possible over here. Beating our ass. Damn. Wrecked us. Loser. You're a loser. I do want to make a living somehow through this. I mean, you know, I'll do it through fucking Bitcoin anyway. That's just like the gold mine right there. How people can't see that is because they're just not digging. 
they're just they're not digging deep enough they're not even thinking like i mean everyone's getting censored and shut down and controlled and and everything you've got going on goes through a middleman and bitcoin comes around and just offers you an escape to have control of your funds without anyone getting a say you just do whatever the fuck you want <laughs> and no one can shut you down or block you or anything i mean that is so incredibly powerful that it's crazy to me that people can't see it how do you not see it it's obvious it's obvious to me and hey i am grateful man i am grateful that i can see it that it is obvious to me mucho grateful gotta be all right what do we do a five drop here okay all right do it like that so the mermaid has to win basically everything and she doesn't have flying either so probably i don't know is this good we're gonna find out is there healing no back to basics no heals either we got so much going on in the gaming world though Winterlands are gonna have land coming out early next year fucking axie's blowing up doing a bunch of shit they're gonna have their land drop access token all types of shit land gameplay coming out blankos oh i hope blankos is good man i hope blankos is good blankos has a chance to be a really really big game and bring an adoption to blockchain gaming so i hope that's good that'll provide like a platform style game like a mario style game we can just hop on and, and play and just run around that'll be a cool game to stream and is that it a skyweaver skyweaver's coming out too skyweaver's coming out skyweaver's an awesome game too there's so many games i just need to be able to piece these all together and try to make money through them all and look oh god's unchained too man i like god's unchained dude oh my look at this i'm getting crushed by earthquake well damn that was a mistake earthquake oh shit all right well i didn't think that all my dudes were gonna take two damage every turn whoopsie let me guzzle this coffee real quick what's going on getting flipped on here yeah there's so much opportunity in this gaming space there's so much opportunity in every space man everything everywhere you look there's tons of opportunity it's just not the easiest you know you have to keep going when no one gives a shit or you're not making any money you just got to do it anyway and constantly be improving but yeah people don't want to do that it's like nah if you don't get immediate success or if something doesn't happen right away people give up and now more than ever really it seems that people just give up on everything which hey you know it makes more room for the rest of us that are actually trying to do shit so that's good that's a positive can't have a neutral oh my goodness yeah i thought i was getting the mighty drinking dude that shit was yellow started vibrating had me excited as shit i thought i was getting the drinking the mighty drinking gold that would have rocked me some money i don't know how much that's worth but that shit would have hooked me right up right up damn would have been great maybe i'll do maybe i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know when the cutoff is for that but they made a post on splinterland somewhere on hive saying how that shit's gone going away they're not going to do any cards now and the rewards so watch out for that i think the ancient lich is good it's a good card 
just it's not going to be rare. It's not going to be that rare until it goes through its uh, the reward card cycle. And speaking of that, I got to look at these reward cards. Actually, where is it? Do I have it open? I got to look through these cards and see what's being printed because we're, we're inching closer to the end of the print life for some of these cards. All right, here we go. Baby Unicorn, Gelatinous Cube, Screeching Vulture, and the Etten Spearman. All 91% reaching the end of their print cycle. So if you don't have these cards, you better get them. Because they're about to go up. Dude, what's going on though with this uh, Winterland? Seems like it's taking forever. All right, our opponent surrendered for our first win of the day. Congratulations. You did it! A surrender victory. We'll take it. Any way we can get it, we will take it. But yeah, it's a, it seems a little slow. I wonder if people are salty about the land sale. Hey, I was salty too, you know, look. Hey, hey! I missed out on spending $850 in the game and getting a thousand plots or whatever it was. I don't even know what it was. I kind of forget at this time. I have to look it up. I think it was a thousand plots. And look how far I dropped, dude. I went from saying, yo, I'm going to spend $850 on this game and buy a thousand plots to, eh, I'm going to spend 75 hours on this game and get 10 plots. Just a total mega drop. And what did I do with my money, dude? I just took it. And I just put it, I provided liquidity. I threw it in the Uniswap, try to get it a different way. Now I'm not going to get the same amount of plots, obviously that I was, that I was going to get, but that's just talking about like adjusting, you know, you adjust your shit. You got to go with the flow. Shit changes and you just go, man, you go with it. So that's what I did. Hope this dude doesn't run sneak on us. Don't sneak me. So I adjusted it, but also I rearranged my thinking. It gave me a moment to be like, nah, probably irresponsible to spend that much money on this game. $850. Because where's my exit strategy? You know, I had to think about that. Am I just investing in the game just to, to play the game with never thinking of getting out? Damn, this dude's running double sneak. Shit. You know, am I doing that? Yeah, I mean, I kind of am doing that. It's like, that is what I'm doing. I'm investing in this game just to play it. I'm not really like, I don't have like the farm mentality. But I should, I need, I need to have the farm mentality because that's one way that we can make money in this game is through buying a shitload of land Oh, the poison. No, double sneak. Rough times ahead. We can still win this, though. So, yeah, I mean, hey, missed out a little bit on the opportunity to farm. But there's other opportunities, you know, the liquidity provider. And put your money. Oh, I got ETH now. I got Ethereum. So... I got $800 worth of Ethereum instead of $800 worth of Splinterlands land. And what can I do with that? You know, I could put it in Axie. I could put it in Bitcoin. And I don't know. I'm still ready to cash out some of these small love potions. But small love potions have been going down hard. 9,700 Vitalics. What is happening over here? It was up to 12. Yeah, it was up to 12 Vitalics. 1,200. 12,000, excuse me. 12,000 Vitalics. Almost 13,000. But I've seen it at 20,000. And, you know, I probably will hold out even longer than that. Once it's released on Binance, it'll probably pump and then dump. But then I think it might be like a steady up. My, my time frame for that is like Christmas time. Because when uh, Ronin comes out, 
I think Jiho said Ronin's coming out uh, the end of Christmas or the end of the year this year. So around that time, I think it'll be a, a, a dash, a mad dash to small love potion because everybody's going to be breeding. I know I'm going to be breeding. I'm going to be slapping those breeds together. They're going to be damn near free on the side chain. Just you can just do breed thousands upon thousands of axes. It's going to be crazy on Ronin. So I'm looking forward to that. And the pump that follows. It's going to be a pump. Pumpity pump. Pump it up. Hell yeah. And what's the ultimate goal? You know, this is what I always come back to, too. What is the ultimate? Ultimate? What's the ultimate? Ultimate? Yes, I got it. Okay, what can I do here? A three and a four that's much better what's the ultimate ultimate where do you put your money and i know i say this all the time but i will never stop the ultimate ultimate is bitcoin putting your money in bitcoin even cash you know you don't you don't buy bitcoin to cash out in u.s dollar sure if you gotta do immediate expenses you're gonna buy shit with the u.s dollar but really long-term storage bitcoin is the be-all end-all it is the goal it is the one so all this stuff playing around in these games, collecting these tokens, buying these NFTs, buying Ethereum, you know, everything, even US dollar, everything goes to Bitcoin. It's the one, dude. It is the one. It is the only. Everything's measured in Bitcoin. And like I say, man, I pinch myself every day. Every day! Get a huge smile on my face. Pinch myself and say, God damn! I am lucky. I am grateful that I can have this vision, that I can have this realization, that I see this, that it's obvious, that it makes sense. Then when it doesn't work out and everything crashes to zero, I'm going to be like, fuck! <laughs> no that would suck but because no one knows the future you know it's like you can listen to people and be like oh he's telling me this but really nobody knows you have to know that right nobody fucking knows for real for real you just have to but that's with anything you know you just have to take an educated guess and be like all right what are the odds is it gonna work out probably yes no what is this that you know you can get in your car and fucking start up your car and your shit blows up you know you can get in a car accident all these things can happen you just have to weigh the odds and make decisions based on relativity, odds, based on what you think is going to happen. And for me, it seems very obvious. Of course, it's not 100% that Bitcoin would be successful, but it's damn near. It is the surest bet. It is the closest thing. Yes, get out of here. This dude surrendered. All right, that's three wins. Oh, I didn't even get a win right there with uh, water. It's the closest bet. It's the safest place to put your money. Isn't that crazy to think? I think Bitcoin is the safest place to put your money, to put your value, to store your wealth. It's the safest place. It is the safest money. It's the safest place to put your currency into because it's real money you put it into hard money amazing amazing holy shit it's amazing holy shit the love and like i said i just can't express how grateful i am that shit's deep bro that shit's fucking deep man and it's awesome deep and awesome the black hole that is bitcoin and i've been here for three years now dude it seems weird definitely been fast like fast dude gone the time is gone three years it's been already how the fuck did that happen how did three years just blink of an eye go by? And here we are <laughs> with nothing to show for it. We're still poor as shit. We're still living paycheck to paycheck. We still ain't got shit.
this is the way life works man you had to work hard and over long periods of time over time it's just the way it goes i wish things were instant and, and i just had my reward right away but that's unfortunately or fortunately depending on how you look at it that's just not how it goes it takes time man time is a part of any equation that is the part of the equation of course you have outliers you have the people that get rich overnight and they hop in just at the right time you know in 2016 for bitcoin for example like perfect timing you know then they didn't have to wait long at all you could say we're in that time period now where it's like all right it's 2020 maybe this is 2016 it actually is if you look at the cycle 2016 2020 2017 pump 2021 pump as far as the four-year cycle in bitcoin bitcoin price pumps in us dollars one year after the halving we had a halving in 2016 we pumped in 2017 we had a halving in 2020 we'll pump in 2021 but i think there's going to be a little bit of a fake out and i want to make a video about it and i have to make a video about it before it happens and i'm like damn it i said that i knew that and the, the idea is that 100k when bitcoin reaches 100k that is going to be a bear trap it's gonna be a bear trap it is a bear trap that's what it is it's a bear trap it's gonna go to 100k such a psychological barrier where it's gonna go and everyone's gonna sell everyone's gonna be like oh shit time to go everyone's gonna be selling you know how they do you know how they do damn all right four drop then and then it's gonna go down the price is gonna go down everybody's gonna be like see told you perfect timing we timed the market right we told all our viewers we told all our listeners to get out at 100k and then it'll dip to like 70k or whatever it'll be like in a downward trend and everybody will be drawing lines and triangles on the chart and be like here's where we can expect it to go 80 percent down back down to 20 grand back down to 30 grand but then it's gonna fake everybody out and poof, gonna double in price more than double in price probably gonna quadruple in price it's gonna go crazy and that's what has to happen you know that's what's that's what i think is gonna happen do I think, do I base it off of charts? Do I base it off of anything? No. What I base it off of is simply human emotion and what I see and sense with everybody in the market, everybody in the space, everybody's calling it out, saying, you know, 100K, 100K. It's going to be such a psychological barrier to hit when it goes from 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, you know, the, the five digit area where we're still we're in the tens of thousands and then it goes to the six digit area where it's a hundred thousand it's just gonna be so huge that everyone's gonna go fucking bananas everybody's waiting for it and a lot of people are gonna fucking sell dude that's it that's the prediction dude's gonna sell but not me i'll wait for the dip and then i'll start buying more and we'll see you know that's why you gotta take educated bets you know place your bets man educated guesses and that is that all right that's gonna be it for this thursday edition of the stream thank you all for watching hope everybody has a great day and i'll catch y'all tomorrow later <laughs>